Hey, so I'm actually pretty excited because I gained five pounds. I mean, I'm, I'm still pretty skinny, but at least it's a start, so. There may be mood swings, and you will see a drop in your menstrual cycle. Thank God. Periods have never been easy on young men. So what was the most important thing that you wanted to convey through these characters and your performances and about Ray? To me, I think it's a story of acceptance, a, a family who is going through something, you know, quite, quite a big challenge. There's a huge amount of love between them and, um, and they've lived kind of extraordinary lives in many ways, but, but this is something that really hits them all and, and they're learning how to cope, um, particularly the mother, is, is, even though she's already on board, we've already gone through um, Ray's transition in, his, in the way he socially presents himself to the world and um, absolutely calling him Ray for a great number of years already. Um, and now we're just taking it to the next level where he's, he wants to do the medical transition, which means to take the testosterone. What if she turns around one day with a full beard and says, Mom, I made a mistake. And out of everyone in the film, Ray is actually the most confident in who he is as a person. Yeah. Did you find that difficult to portray, or is that easy for you? I think that's what's really amazing about him is that He's ready. He, he just wants people to understand because he understands. Yeah, why he knows. shouldn't everybody yeah. else? Yeah, I mean, he knows that I'm a boy, and then he's spending this time trying to convince everyone else of just accept it. So you're like our brother? Yeah. Sort of. No, I, I think that it's amazing to show, um, to show a teenager like that, you know, I so feel, much courage. Yeah, 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 you don't get to see that a lot on screen. I think that people kind of downplay like teenagers a lot, you know, they don't really treat them as, you know, people. It's like we have we have opinions and um, and to to hear that voice is nice. Why does he want to change school? <sighs> because he wants a conventional experience. Then just be a normal lesbian. I can hear you. Good, join the conversation. So the relationships between parent and child in both generations in this film seem very authentic to me. So as a parent and as a daughter, is that something you could relate to? I think, you know, it's just so interesting having a daughter. I mean, I have sons and a daughter who has a daughter. And um, it's just so laden with possibility and humor. And as a grandmother, you have such less anxiety. I just want to be normal in a regular school. I just want to try it. And so you want to try being gay. Well, why is normal the goal all of a sudden? What about being authentic? Authentic is what he wants to be. You know, my character was is kind of looser and was, I don't know, smoking weed and with jazz musicians and everything. and. And the daughter, it, either in reaction to or whatever, ha has, has not been that way. And then she has a daughter who now is transitioning. Mm -hmm. You have these like, three generations of amazing actresses, yourself included. What was it like just to be a part of that on the set? Well, we were working fast and cheaply and whatever. So we, you know, that's the, a, a lot of fun because there, you can't overthink anything and you're just flying by the seat of your pants. And I think we had a really good time, you know? We just, all of us were together last night laughing till all hours of the, and, and Elle is a phenomenon. Elle's like this little baby giraffe who then all of a sudden pulls it together and becomes like a superstar. What do you think it says, uh, the fact that Ray is the only one in the film who is really and truly confident about who he is? What do you think that lends to the story and Elle's performance? I think the movie is about um, authenticity, and it's Ray's fight for authenticity. And I think that's important to remember that the essence of a person is not about their gender or their sexual preference. I'm proud to be part of something that starts that dialogue, even if it's just in a little humble, very accessible, you know, it's not a big heavy, it has a happy ending uh, kind of thing. Um, I, I, I think it's, I wanted to be part of it for that reason. Ray is the only good decision I've ever made. I 
I still vote lesbian. 